and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Swain. So we've played a couple of uh, kind of newer, jankier decks today. Um, you know, kind of some meme tier and rank type stuff. And it actually went pretty well with both of our decks, I would have to say. But now we have a very solid deck with Twisted Fate Swain. This has been a big part of the metagame really ever since just regular old Bilgewater, right? Like uh, for a long time. Some cards have been uh, buffed and nerfed in the deck. Um, but it's still just a solid deck. It's been a couple of months since we played it. We had a viewer uh, do a donation deck uh, to see it again. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. This is the same list that we played um, back at the end of August that we went 5-0 with. With one exception, we took out House Spider, replaced it with Mirai Warden. Um, you know, I really like the random one-cost follower. I think on average that's going to be a lot better than a 1-1. Even though sometimes it's not. But I think on average it will be. So we got a couple of Mirai Wardens in here. But besides that, it's just the old classic deck. You know, get a bunch of, uh, you know, do a bunch of non-combat damage, level up your Swain, have your Swain Leviathan top end, Twist of Fate, just do a little bit of everything, especially red card being really strong, especially red card with Dreadway Deckhand, you know, with Powder Kegs. And, uh, you know, just kind of do a little bit of everything. So let's give it a try. We're going to go take it on over to Ranked, play five games over there with Twisted Swain. All right, Poppy Fizz probably means Bandle Tree. That's usually what Fizz means, is, is there, there are going to be a Bandle Tree deck. We do have two copies of Scorched Earth right now. Um, we're going to keep... We're going to send those back. We'll keep Fortune Croaker. They can help us find Scorched Earth. Zap Spray Fin will help us find Scorched Earth also. You know, they just draw cards. So the self-damage, that is non-combat damage. That levels up your Swain. So these Bilgewater units... You know, Krusty Kaj or Fortune Croaker, those help with that. I don't want to attack because if I'm if I'm the opponent, I'm probably trading there. Like, they just want to stay alive and then play Bandle Tree. So I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to block because then we wouldn't have a unit for our Fortune Croaker. So now we can attack. All right, gonna go this route. This route, hoping they don't open attack. Hoping I can play spray thin to block commando. All right, with the open attack, gonna have to just go death's hand. I don't want to have them just continually create two ones. On Scorched Earth. Ugh. Yeah, I guess the Swain would be pretty good. Scorched Earth! Definitely gets it. I think I'll just take a pass. The thing I'm definitely worried about with Mega Rain is exactly that. That it hits the Fizz and then they can play a spell and fizzle it. Yeah, Fizz makes make it rain real awkward. Mm 
Okay. So we got a Ravenous Block out of their hand. You know, like, I'm, I'm happy trading Mega Rain for Ravenous Block whenever there's Fizz in play. <clears throat> Pretty happy with that trade. Yeah, we need a Twisted Fate. Yeah, Twisted Fate would be great. Good call. Let's draw... Yeah, let's draw Twisted Fate. These Ravenous Locks just look so bad in this matchup. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? You know, playing that card just as a blocker. Always keeping our three mana available for Vandal Tree. And they're, you know, like, attacking only just, like, helps them play other things, right? Like, there's no reason to attack. That's why, like I say, like, that just helps them play other, other things. So this will just be a 5-4 quick attack, and that's it. That's only a summon. You know, I was checking. That's only a summon. It's not going to gain impact 4 later. Serving lead. Alright, so now if we start stunning stuff, then Ravenous Flock can actually do something. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Yep, so hoping they don't find another mini-morph. How many mini-morphs do y'all think that they play? Obviously, one, and most I think the most likely number is two, right? Two is probably the most likely number of mini-morphs. Scorched Earth. Darn. Looking for that second Scorched Earth that we have. You think they play all three? Oh, man. Okay, yeah, we had Jack. Whew, okay. I got nervous there. No, 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 other things. Okay. Just not the Scorched Earth. <laughs> no, no Twisted Fates yet. So right now, Fizz is the only thing... Ah, gross. I was going to say, Fizz is the only thing that blocks... Swain. They're definitely going to just Ravenous Flock here. no reason to attack with the 3-3. Just helps out these spell shield things. Like, just gives them room to play him. Consider playing... Would consider attacking with both elusives. They block one elusive, take two. That's two damage that can matter. Really hoping they don't have two bandle trees. I know, right? This board music really is tense and dramatic <laughs> and dramatic. Like, what's gonna happen? So this round I want to keep five mana available to play a new swain if they flock this swain. So that's gonna be a consideration whenever I'm casting other things. We will play the fortune croaker. Do the one dam you know, cover up the two one, do the one damage to the three three.
Only three cards besides that little 2-1 spell shield. Let's cook em. They should thank you. Yeah, I am allowing them to play another Poppy. I need room anyway. Cause yeah, here comes the flock. Let's make cookies. But still hoping like that this kind of stuff will still do six damage to them. So they're down to one. So just have to figure out how to do one point of damage. Good. So if they have this, if they do have the second mantle tree. All right, and GGs. Because that's how they could have still like tied us if they had a second mantle tree. So Draven Ezreal. But throwing in some Caitlyn's. Alright, I like Codger, Codger, Spray Finn. We'll go and send the deck hand back. What's up, opponent? No, they, they changed the rules so, like, uh, all the round start abilities happen at the same time now. Like, and so, like, they would both happen at the same time, so it'd be a tie. Um, yeah, would have pr previously, it would have been the active player wins, which would have been my opponent. Alright, so triple Krusty Kodger means that Swain's just, like, leveled up. Unfortunately, I'm chilling with, like, Flock and Scorcher if they don't really do anything. Mega Rain, right? Like, Mega Rain would have been really nice to, like, kill the 4 1, deal 1 point of damage to the next thing that they play, and enable Flock. So, we had a good start, but my hand is horrendous. Like, we just have five unplayable cards. <laughs> there we go. That's a card we can play. This could be the problem with all these Flocks and Score shirts. Good time to draw. Death Sand. No, I meant Death Lotus. Not Death Sand, sorry, wrong card. I meant Death Lotus. But we drew Death's Hand. So what do we do with Death's Hand? Do we kill Draven or hurt Caitlyn? I guess we kill Draven. Maybe it is... Caitlyn, because Caitlyn can block these things, or these things can't block Caitlyn. Yeah, because now I can attack with like all these. Like I can open attack with all these. And we don't have to worry about flash bomb traps killing stuff. Swain's easy leveled if we draw a Swain. Do you want to be a good draw? It would be a Twisted Fate. Man, remember whenever we were playing Twisted Fate? Chick. 
Back in the day, we used to have Twisted Fates in our deck. That's a great card. That's a card that would have enabled like all my, my other cards that would have been awesome to have. our fourth or fifth spray fin in the last two games and zero twisted fate still but we'll spray fin's a good draw We do open up our Swain, Leviathan, and stuff getting killed if we attack, you know, getting killed by Ravenous Flocks and those kind of cards. Yeah, obviously, we're not going to attack with the Leviathan now, but do we attack with the Swain and let them, like, block and flock? I think so, because, like, it's not easy to have a flock be able to block and flock. Because, yeah, that, that one's dead. Now they have to have another. That's not easy. So many oh, they just have Scorch Earth. Alright, well... Good round for us. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. Cool. I was hoping that wasn't like GG's, like I have triple get excited <laughs> to kill you. Like here comes like aftershock, get excited, get excited. And, only one way. and we suddenly die. Alright, so this is like Feel the Rush, but with Anivia instead of Trundle. Anivia Trindamir. I think we'll keep the Warden to start off with. Looks like we're going to have Krusty Codger into Mirai Warden. Those are pretty good at getting avalanched. Why are you annoyed by the reveals? He said, I hate Bandal as a concept, and the more that we get, the more I hate it. Oh. Well, yeah, that's just a... Yeah, that's just you not liking Bandle and everything. Um, which is, you know, perfectly fine to not like a region. But I don't think there's anything any, anything uh, wrong about these reveals so far. Oh, I've never met anyone like you. And while, yes, Quicken does give Bandle recall, it's a... You know, it's a pretty situational recall, and it's uh, poor against... Um, you know, cards like, uh, like Pump Spells. Four against Pump Spells. Hope they don't have Ice Shard. Because I'm going to attack. Stop it. 
Went down to four. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Hmm. Probably just pass, I suppose. The war mother will unite us all. I don't know. She'll probably like unite us over here, not y'all. Not everybody. Stand together. Cool, no avalanche. Death by tutus. Good job, Mariah Warden. Mariah Warden was definitely better than House Spider there, right? We got 2-1-2-1 two, one, two, one on both of them. You know, so like 4 total power instead of 3 power with House Spider. Poppy Zed. Alright, this is where we want our Make It Reigns. This is where we could draw Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate? No, we're never... We're not that lucky. To actually get a Twisted Fate. Dude, what if there's actually what if there really isn't a twist of fate in the deck? Maybe twist of fate's bugged, like you can't actually draw the card. I bet it is. I bet it's bugged. That's my prediction right now. Twist of fate bugged. Yeah, definitely bugged. Confirmed. We've drawn a million, um, a million spray fins and not a single twisted fate yet. <laughs> the myth, the legend. You only hear whispers of twisted fate around a campfire. No one has seen the card since 2020. Does it exist? Do we know? Just know the heroes around here somewhere. Who could ever know? Off we go! Out. Could certainly regret not having that to stun a I don't know, something needs to be stunned. Like I said, but looks like they didn't have one. Um, I'm just gonna take this hit. I don't wanna like, then they like sharp sight to save it. Right, and then I take two more damage from the, from the sharp sight. Oh, I don't wanna take two more damage. Ooh, Barkby's. Barkby's cool. Make it rain cool. The dark beckons. Everything's better with company. The only one I'm thinking about not attacking with is the spray fin, because obviously the spray fin and the shadow assassin just trade. Um, the the rest of them are coming in. It's just maybe I sit back with a spray fin. Yeah, I think we sit back there. It's too late for you. And what if we drew a twisted fate and we could red card? No, we know we know that can't happen. There has a bet it was a fate. Drawn it forever. What? What just happened? What just happened? Never lost a fair game. Or played one. I can't believe it.
What just happened? Wow. It was in the cards. GG's. Alright, another Poppy deck. Poppy Ziggs. Trying to keep us from our 5 0. Alright, so we're gonna have Sentry Flock again. I like having a two drop, but like deck hand is kind of our worst two drop. Like unless we have Mega Rain. I think I'm gonna send both of those back and you know look for uh look for like Krusty Codger, Mirai Warden, that kind of stuff. I, I don't think I really upgraded. I'd definitely rather have Swain than Leviathan in my opener. Yuck. Alright, this is our worst hand that we've had so far. In any of these games. Should have just kept dread dreadway duck hand. This will shake up. I mean Fortune Croaker is just a 2-3. I guess a 2-3 is kinda cool, I suppose. Okay. I've whipped up something special. Got a surprise for him. Huh, that's convenient. I know what I'm doing. That's convenient. Should probably just be playing Fortune Croaker there. I don't know. Good. If I kill you, I don't fart you, stupid. All right, so level up, Swain. Yeah, card's good. Spectre it says, "Yo, guys, I just hit diamond with Viego. Want to share my excitement? Let's go. Good job. Hitting diamond, that's definitely an accomplishment. That's not easy to do. Way to go." Playing with Viego. Viego's real strong. What kind of Viego deck are you playing? Are you playing like Ionia Viego uh, with Ionia stuff? Or doing anything else? Okay, so not like the best for me right now, but. We're both at four cards, but they have a Lecturing Yordle in play, but I, I do have Spray Fins, so I got two Spray Fins, I got a Leviathan, so I got some good top end stuff. Okay, went Spicy Route, went with Freljord, Sejuani, very mid rangey, awesome. Good here. Good job. I guess we're gonna scorch her with that. And I'm thinking about just like saving the two spell mana. We'll kinda see what they do here. Dubs Mayor. Well, it did look okay for a little bit. So not looking great. So we're at a low life total. So they have a, if they have a bunch of burn left over, I can have my four seven block the five four. Cause I don't think that I don't think that they'll be able to like stop that. Alright, then my two two blocks the three two. 
gosh. Yeah, so we're taking eight down to four. That's gross. Good hand opponent. That lecturing Yordle really made a big difference. We've already drawn six, three of the six puff caps. We got pretty unlucky with that, with puff cap drawing. Well. I don't know. Was I supposed to play Leviathan first? Just gives them opportunity to play blocker. Oh no. I'm down to two. Okay, good. No fervor. Get rid of that before it like attacks and does two damage to me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, double definitionist. Wow, good hand, opponent. Good hand, GG's. All right, so we, we can lose a game with Twisted Twain. I thought we were going to get back-to-back 5-0s with the deck, but looks like we can lose a game. All right, so 4-1. Like I said, we played this, uh, what, two months ago with in August and went 5-0 with it. So the last two times we played the deck, you know, it, I again, if you know the channel, you know, like we play all sorts of different stuff all the time, so I don't really stay on a deck, but... It, Maybe we should stay on this deck, because you know, like we went uh five oh four one the two times. Jack the winner that that time really didn't seem too necessary, right? It wasn't a card that we didn't really seem like we needed at all. Um I could definitely see taking that out and putting in another Mirai Warden. Mirai Warden performed quite well. Uh, and then the Mirai Warden would just kinda help out our flocks and scorched earths so that at times were pretty awkward. Um so I could definitely see making that change. Another thing that you could do would be putting in a third monster harpoon. Um, that wouldn't be too bad either. Um, so I could definitely see kind of making one of those changes because uh, it didn't seem like we really needed that um, that Jack the Winner too much. I think if I would, you know, if it was me, what would I change? I think I would probably just get the Mirai Warden in here and just get an extra Mirai Warden. I think that's what I would do. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it, though, for Twisted Swain. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. If you've been uh, trying out Twisted Fate Swain yourself, let me know how, how it's going for you. What's your list looking like? Um, you know, anything like that. So uh, that's going to be it for this video, though. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.